just wonder, I know you have been very quiet on this, but we had these quite uh, surprising comments from US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in London on Tuesday. Um, do you have any response to that? Or could you give us an idea of how you, how you think a big organization like the WHO can, can respond to that kind of comment? Um, I think we have uh, we haven't kept quiet actually. We released a statement, um, and uh, as you know, uh, the comments uh, were done. I think on Tuesday, last Tuesday, and the comments are untrue and unacceptable, and without any foundation for that matter. And our sole uh, focus. Uh, and the focus of the international, the entire organization is on saving lives. If there is one thing that really matters to us and which should matter to the entire orga, uh, international community, it's saving uh, lives. And WHO will not be di distracted by these comments and uh, uh, we don't want the entire the international community also to be distracted. As you know, one of the greatest uh, uh, threats we face continues to be the politicization of the pandemic. COVID-19 does not respect borders, ideologies, or political parties. And I, say, I have said it many times, COVID politics should be quarantined. And I'm appealing again uh, to all nations to work together Politics and uh, partisanship have made uh, things uh, worse. So what is very important is sign solutions and solidarity. But I repeat, the allegations are untrue and without any foundation. Thank you. If I, if I might add, um, I feel the need to say something as an American, as a proud uh, WHO employee. Um, I have had the honor and privilege to sit next to Dr. Tedros and Dr. Mike Ryan uh, for I don't know how many days since the beginning of this pandemic and I have never been more proud to be WHO. I worked for this organization with this organization for more than 10 years. We have dedicated staff in all of our regions and in countries working all over the world. We have partners that continue to work with us and engage with us and I am particularly grateful for those that continue to show their support for us. But I see firsthand every day the work that Dr. Tedros does, that Mike does, that our teams do all over the world. We are firmly focused on saving lives, as Dr. Tedros has said, firmly focused. We will not be distracted. Um, and that is what we remain uh, and we will continue to remain focused on.